I'm Katie with Granny's Legacy Patterns and today I am going to show you how to do my very favorite embroidery stitch, the chain stitch. Uh, so what you will need is your pearl cotton that you will be needing, um, some needles. I like the 24 bone chenille needles. They're easy to thread and I like a short needle and they're nice and short. And a little scissors to snip your threads with. Um, this is our favorite for wool applique, but I use it for everything. It's a Havel 6 inch serrated scissors. The blades have a nice little serration on them so they grip your wool. And they cut all the way to the point and they're just the perfect little scissors. So the first thing is to open up your thread. Um, a lot of people think that to use Veldani you start around and use these wraps and then use those. But it actually is nicer and the little cardboard stays until the end. If you take your little needle, dig down, grab one of the inner loops and pull and the outside end will come out and I have a little knot there that came with it and so I'm just gonna take my little scissors and cut that knot off so then thread your needle cut a length however long you're comfortable using and then um, I always like to, since this is towards the beginning and has all those little crimps in it, just run my fingernail over it and it straightens it out. Um, tie a knot, and I like to use this needle worker's knot, which gives you the perfect little, perfect knot. And then I'm going to, today I'm going to show stems. So we're going to do this one right here. Just come up at the base, kind of wrap your thread around, go back in right where you came up or very close to it, and then stitch in and pull up on top of your loop. You want to be on top of your loop, not under your loop. So then the next time, loop around, put your needle in where you came up, Go over a ways and pull up on top of the loop. If you go under the loop, it's just going to pull your, pull your stitch flat and there won't be anything there. Loop around, needle in where you came up, and go over a ways. Now the trick to a nice even chain is to make sure that the distance you can needle over is always the same. And I personally like between an eighth of an inch and a quarter of an inch. So that's how I think of it. I think about it as a seam allowance. Um, if you like bigger, you can do a bigger stitch. So I'm going to go over a little bit more this time so you can see how that looks. And it just creates a bigger. I like them nice and petite, but everybody likes their own. So I'm going to do a couple big ones here. The bigger, the quicker, though. So you can see the nice little petite ones, big ones. So it's like, I like to say embroidery is kind of like your handwriting. Everybody's is a little different and it's just a little part of them. So loop around, needle in, needle up. So the first thing I'm going to do is tie a knot in my thread. I'm just gonna do a basic little knot there. And then what you're going to want to do to do the perfect chain stitch is kind of come up where you want to start, loop around, put your needle where you came up, and just stitch over a little bit and pull. Um, I Don't pull too tight, otherwise you won't be able to see that it looks like a little chain. It'll just pull it flat. You want to leave a little slack in it. So down stitch over and up on top of your loop. You don't want to go under your loop, you want to be on top of your loop. So around, down, stitch across and pull up on top of your loop. Circle around, down, up, on top of your loop and pull. Now I like my stitches um, to be a little more petite. Um, some people like them bigger, so that is easily adjustable. Just go down. If you want them bigger, just come up further away 
and they're bigger. So, so down, further away, bigger. And then you can kind of fuss with these and make them perfect and pull them a little tighter, a little looser. So circle around, down, up, and pull. Circle, down, oops, down, up, and pull. And you'll have just the perfect little chain stitch. Thank <music> you.